What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwid and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team Wager game. And today we are playing for 97 overall Larry Fitzgerald and I'm actually going to be putting up my 25,000 coins against that card. Um, I'm playing against an opponent here that is a subscriber. He's got a pretty decent team, nothing super over the top. He's got a couple really good players like that Thurman Thomas. Um, even though the Cam Newton is not the 99 Cam Newton, it's not a golden ticket Cam Newton, it's still a very, very good card. Um, definitely one that is difficult to stop because he has the running ability and of course he's still got the passing ability as well. So he's not like quarterback Walter Payton who I use that's pretty much just a runner. And yet I still use him even though he can't really throw the ball down the field whatsoever. So anyways guys, uh, let's get into the gameplay footage here. Now I actually recorded this video prior to uh, upgrading my team. So in my new videos, you're gonna see a slightly upgraded team from what I have. I think I'm actually at a 94 overall. Um, that's since I pulled the Reggie White card the other day. I made a couple of small improvements to my team, a couple offensive line improvements and, you know, minor stuff like that. Um, but you're going to see here, my team still does fairly well here. Although on this first play, I do get freaking destroyed in the backfield by Alec Og Ogletree. And that kind of concerned me. I'm not even going to lie. And I can see here right away that he was committing on the quarterback on the read options, which is something that can sometimes be a little bit of a problem but if you're able to be smart and still hand it off to your running back you can pick up some nice gains and they almost can never stop it look at that throw down the field though i was talking smack about qb walter before this game started but damn that throw though and then here is the read option we make one move the spin move and qb walter is going to go all the way to the house look at this pose here Lean with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock with it. Seven nothing here early in the game. And we are now on defense here as my opponent is gonna try and pick apart our man coverage on defense. He's pretty smart. He actually knew what plays to run, what type of routes to run against man coverage. And he was hitting them here. Like on this play, it's third and seven and he's able to complete the pass with a simple out route. Picks up about 12 on that one. Next play, he floats it over the top to Alshon Jeffrey. And we do make the tackle, but it's a nice gain here. Now he's going to go with the read option here. When I committed to the quarterback, he was handing it off to Thurman Thomas and picking up nice gains. Now watch this screen pass here. I sniffed it out with Deshaun Gibson, made the tackle in the backfield. It brought up a third and eight here. And he tried to go over the middle, but we break it up making it fourth and eight and he is going to go for it here on his first drive he goes down the field for the big play but charles woodson knocks it away very easy you think i'm gonna go for that interception ain't gonna happen i'm just gonna hit that l1 make sure that i get my yards back back on offense now we hand it off to jamal charles yeah he's relieving chris johnson on this drive and we go over the top after the run for a touchdown to Vernon Davis. He committed on the run and that's a big mistake because you can never do that against me. You never know when I'm gonna go play action on a play that looks very, very similar. And that's what happened there. We go up 14 to nothing, but he is back on offense and moving the ball down the field with Cam Newton. Nice quarterback run there. And I'm gonna have to make sure that I pay attention. I cannot be allowing him to gain big yards with his quarterback as he scrambles and completes a pass down the field. Now, like I said, my opponent was kind of picking apart my man defense here, and it was kind of throwing me off, especially when he's breaking tackles like that. I don't know what to do. His truck stick was just absolutely on fire. Oh, my God. But he throws an interception here with about 40 seconds left as you hear the oh, my God, from my opponent. And we have got 40 seconds here. Look at Vernon Davis breaking down the field. Oh, my goodness. That heat-seeking tackle just barely makes the play for him. There's about 29 seconds left here in the half, and I'm going to start losing some yards here and start losing some confidence. That threw me off for sure, and I end up throwing this ugly interception here as I try to go deep to train in a holiday. 18 seconds left now for my opponent, and he's got to try and put points on the board here. He got a big interception there, and now he's going to force it into coverage, but I just make a terrible play with my user there. A great completion for him. He's got nine seconds left in the half now, and oh man, gotcha bitch. Another interception here. This time it's Dominic Rogers Camardi who is subbed in, playing safety on that play, deep in coverage. And now with just a couple seconds left, I figure I've got to score a touchdown here. So I try the screen pass. It gets huge yardage, but I do get taken down. That was the final play of the half, and now my opponent's back on offense, doing his best here. Look at Thurman Thomas. Look at him. He's just unstoppable. I don't even know what to do. I'm hitting him in the backfield on some of these plays, and he's just destroying me. And then he gets off the edge, and my safeties and corners just have no shot against him. We get a sack on first down, but on second and 19, he runs, picks back all those yards up, 
and he is now on a third and ten, and he's just gonna simply scramble here off the edge. I didn't have a contain, didn't have a spy, and Cam Newton picks up a first down with his feet back on the ground. Now look at Thurman Thomas, just finding holes in the defense, scraping through it, and boom, look at him, just running over to Sean Gibson. I just cannot stop him. And look at this, Shannon Sharp breaking tackles, picking up first downs. I don't know what to do here. It's 14 to nothing, but my goodness, he is just driving the ball down the field, unstoppable almost. Look at Cam Newton. He gets eight on that one, but is now third and four. And oh man, he just could barely not get that catch. That was a huge incompletion for me. He timed it just barely incorrectly. And I'm not gonna lie, right here, I totally get bailed out. Demarius Thomas drops in a should be touchdown. And that gave me the football back. And it is CJ2K as he is off to the races. The heat seeking tackle is not gonna save him here. But look at, look at Albert Hainsworth. He's like 80 yards down the field damn near catching up to Chris Johnson. This game is insane when it comes to defensive speed. I, I don't even have an answer for you on how that was happening. But back on defense, look at my opponent here as he scrambles around with Cam Newton, bombs it down the field to his running back all the way down for a huge completion. That puts him back into scoring position. But Tashawn Gibson forces the fumble and we now have the ball back on offense looking to put this game away with about a minute 42 left on the clock here 21 to 0 and quarterback Walter Payton is going to go off the edge for a nice gain here the back juke makes him miss and we are off to the races again but oh Walter Payton's going to get taken down from behind this time third and goal here now watch this pass here I don't know why they called this a completion but I will take it Vernon Davis catches the ball in the end zone watch this slow motion replay does it look like I get the foot down I don't know. The left foot doesn't look like it comes down, but you can see just a little bit of rubber scraping up. So maybe they called that a completion. I don't know. They did review it and it was called a touchdown on the field. So they didn't overturn it. But either way, my opponent got the ball, but he's down 28 at this point. The game's over and I'm going to get one more user pick here. Gotcha, bitch. Derek Johnson with his second pick in this game. And that is going to wrap things up. I do get the victory here. My opponent transferred over the card, the Larry Fitzgerald. So I always appreciate that. It was a nice, fair transaction. It was a good game. The score didn't indicate how close it actually was. He was driving down the field a lot. He just, a couple mistakes and this thing would be different. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you could comment, if you could subscribe to my channel, of course, I would greatly appreciate that. We should have some more Madden content for you sometime this week. I'm actually gonna be doing a little bit of MLB The Show content as well. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Also, tomorrow, we will be revealing the next Pink Slips card that you guys will be playing me for. One of you will have the chance to play me for a pretty nice card. I think you guys are going to like it, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.